Guys, tell me, do you know what are ions? Whenever you write its formula, some charge is present on them. That charge is known as oxidation number. Let's say for example, I am taking zinc 2 plus ion. So that plus 2 charge indicates oxidation number for zinc. Coming to nitrate ion, its formula is NO3 minus. That minus 1 indicates oxidation number for nitrate ion. Similarly, if I take a neutral compound, let's say calcium sulfate and for calcium sulfate, you do one thing, remove all the other atoms as ions leaving behind calcium. You will get charge of plus 2 on that calcium. And that plus 2 indicates oxidation number for calcium. So oxidation number is nothing but a charge present on an atom when all other atoms are removed from the given compound as ions. For calculating oxidation numbers, we have to follow some simple rules. Let's have a look at them. First, oxidation number of an element in its native or elemental state is taken as zero. Like for hydrogen, helium, sodium, it is taken as zero. Second, for a charged species, the charge present on it indicates its oxidation number. Coming to hydrogen, it always exhibits oxidation number of plus 1, except in metal hydrides. For example, in sodium hydride, magnesium hydride, it exhibits an oxidation number of minus 1. Coming to oxygen, oxygen, it can be present in three types, as like in oxides, in peroxides, and in superoxides. When it is present in form of oxide, it exhibits an oxidation number of minus 2. In peroxides, it exhibits oxidation state of minus 1 and for superoxides, it is minus 1 by 2. Oxygen always exhibits negative oxidation state except in two compounds when it is present with fluorine. Yes. Fluorine, which is more electronegative than oxygen. So, oxygen exhibits positive oxidation state when it is present with fluorine. That is plus 1 and plus 2 when it is present as oxygen difluoride that is OF2 and dioxygen difluoride that is O2F2. Coming to halogens, fluorine always exhibits oxidation state of minus 1. Other halogens also exhibit minus 1 oxidation state, but they have a probability to show other oxidation states also. Now, coming to alkali and alkaline earth metals. Alkali metals exhibit an oxidation state of plus 1 and alkaline earth metals, they exhibit oxidation state of plus 2. Last and the most important thing, for a neutral compound, sum of oxidation numbers of all the atoms is equal to zero. But for a complex ion, sum of oxidation numbers of all the atoms is equal to the charge present on it. Like you can see here in the sulfate ion, the sum of oxidation numbers of sulfur and oxygen will be equal to minus two, as minus two is the charge present on sulfate ion. All these rules you have to just remember and then you will be able to solve and find out the oxidation numbers of any element in the given compound. Let's see how to calculate oxidation numbers of an element in a given compound. For example, I take H2S and you have to calculate oxidation number of sulfur here. So, the element for which you have to calculate oxidation number take it as x, okay? According to the rules as we discussed earlier, oxidation number of hydrogen, you know, that is 1. So, how many hydrogens are here? 2 hydrogen. 2 into its oxidation number, that is 1, plus x. 
and equate it to zero as there is no overall charge on this compound. So you get x equals to minus two and this is the oxidation number of sulfur. I'll take one more example like ClO3 minus. This is a charged species, right? You have to calculate oxidation number of chlorine in this compound. Take it as X. Now tell me, what is the oxidation number of oxygen here? Yes, it's minus two. So let's see, X plus three oxygens are here. So three into minus two, and now I will equate it to minus one, yes. So from here, you get X equals to plus five, which is the oxidation number of chlorine. I'll give you one more complex compound. Like here, it is written K4FeCN6. And here you have to calculate oxidation number of iron. Now see, potassium being an alkali metal, it has oxidation number 1. 4 potassium are there, so 4 into 1 plus Oxidation number of iron, let's take it as X plus 6 cyanide is there. So 6 into minus 1, that is oxidation number of cyanide and equate it to 0. You will get X equals to plus 2, which indicates the oxidation number of iron. <laughs>